Catasol with another awesome art project this week. I'm working with Liz Boyd on this project and she's going to teach you how to play a game from New Zealand called t -Reco. This game involves rhythmically tapping and tossing sticks and Miss Boyd's going to teach you all about that at your next PE class with her. But today I'm going to show you how we're going to add designs to those sticks. We're going to use paper towel rolls and grocery bags to add a little bit of weight to the sticks and we're going to add designs on the outside. But first I want to show you or tell you about uh, the Maori people who invented this game. The Maori people are the first people to live on the islands of New Zealand. Their name means ordinary people. They have a very distinct artistic style. Maori visual art consists of four forms, um, carving, weaving, tattooing, and painting. The most traditional Maori art uh, features motifs such as spiral, chevron, and the kuru. The kuru is an unfurling fern. The colors they use are often black, white, and red. Now, let's get started. I'll show you how we're going to use those types of design motifs to add designs to our sticks. had a chance to see some actual Maori design motifs, we are going to get started designing our Tiraku sticks. We're going to use two paper towel rolls and two grocery bags for each roll. Remember, if you're the only Charles Barrett student in your helm, you'll want to make two sets so that you can play with another person. I'm going to use crayons to add designs to my sticks. Since my inspiration is the artwork of the Maori people, I'm going to use black, white, and red to create my designs. I'm also going to concentrate on the motifs I mentioned. Let me show you. We talked about the chevron, the swirl, and the koru. Remember, the koru is the unfurling fern. I've already started these sticks, and you can see that repetition makes your designs very strong and appealing. You can re repeat a simple design like this, or a more complex design like that, or you can get really fancy like this, or even like that. Let me show you how I got there. So to create a simple design like this koru, I might simply start by drawing a straight line. Let's see if you can do this. You've really got to support the tube inside. It might even help to take the plastic bag and push it inside your tube before you start. That'll give it a little bit of extra support. Let me show you what I'm doing. And that way it won't collapse when I'm drawing on it. Because you have to push a little bit hard with these crayons. Okay, that'll get me started. I've only put one bag in there, but remember I'm going to want to put two. So here I go. I'm going to draw this line just supporting my stick and just drawing carefully. We're so used to drawing on a flat surface that when we have to draw on something roundy, it's a little bit harder. And you have to press kind of hard to get, to really see that color. Can you see the red line that I've made there? And let's see, I started my designs this way. So I'm gonna start with red. 
and I'm going to have it come up along that line. Whoops, I slipped a little bit. I wouldn't worry about that too much. And I'm going to draw that little... I'm going to call this the Koru design, that like the unfurling fern that we saw pictures of. I know it's very similar to a swirl. So you could even call this a swirl, I suppose. And I'm going to switch it up and do a black one next. And I have to watch out for these seams because they'll sort of mess up my, my crayon a little bit too. Again, I have to press a little bit hard. So there's my design. And now I'm going to add the white. And then I would repeat that again. I like the way the white shows up on this cardboard, it really makes a nice effect. Okay, so there's my, that's the beginning of that design. If you wanted to go a little bit fancier, you could repeat these lines. I've already got this design started, and the way that I made this I just repeated, I couldn't remember which one I was supposed to do when, I repeated those lines and again notice how I'm supporting inside the tube there so that my tube doesn't collapse as I'm pressing with the crayon. And just repeating those lines. But if you want to get a little fancier, you could work on something like this, where you, whoops, draw your, let's see, where do I want to draw that, draw that fern or that swirl. And I'm finding I'm having to go back over each line a couple times just to get it nice and dark. And then I'd add my red line. Remember that repetition is what's going to make your design nice and strong. You might pick a simple shape and repeat that. I'm doing something that is inspired by the Mari people with your sticks. Um, I used crayon and I found that they worked very well, the crayons did, but if you wanted to use paint or if you wanted to use Sharpie, that's another tool that you could use. But I like the way the white crayon sets up. Have fun doing this, and I can't wait to play this game with you all and with Ms. Boyd next Thursday. Thursday.